Discord. Um, I don't know how many of you guys um, called in to listen to some of the mission of the Rank It Up group. Um, I kind of forgot that was, I, thought, I kept thinking it was at 7.30, so I apologize for that. Um, it will be recorded. I listened to the first few minutes, and uh, it was some good content. Um, a lot of it was repeat for me, but um, it will be posted in that group under the file of recording, so you guys can listen to it when you have like a power hour, because um, you can never get enough of that. So. Um, if you're in that group, um, definitely um, put that on your to-do list for the week. So hopefully you guys can hear me and this recording works. Otherwise, it's going to be a recording of my lips moving <laughs> without sound, which will be not helpful. Um, so today is Monday, May 4th, and it is our Team Smart call. And I'm going to make this as quick tonight as possible because it has been a day, and I probably look like I'm really tired because I am. Um, but I did have some stuff I want to share with you guys. So, um, first of all, I wanted to say I did do a drawing um, right before I logged in, and our winner for April Success Club, April, right, um, was Calissa. So, um, well deserved, my dear. Um, she like totally rocked out the month and had like 18 points or something crazy for herself, plus had her husband who she signed up at like eight or 10 points. So amazing job. Um, you know, it's just amazing. And I just want to reiterate to all of you um, how your rock star coaches are in the challenge group. That's where they come from. And um, I knew, I knew Calissa, I saw in her after a week in our, um, our first six group together and she was so committed and um, I knew that she was going to inspire so many people and I know she is terrified that um, she's going to lose like her little mojo um, and I just got to tell her that it's not going to happen because um, just like the rank it up call was saying before I joined in this business really is like um, a fitness journey it really is just like our fitness journeys have you know up and down, slow, up and down. Um, so do the um, just the business, right? We have ups and downs. We have highs. We have lows. We have good days. We have bad days. Um, we have days we want to quit. We have days we are like can't believe that um, this is what we do. It's so awesome. Totally normal. Um, and you will have months that you have 25 successful points um, without really trying, and then you will have months where you're like, oh my gosh, like how can I even find SD5? And um, it's normal. So. The more consistent that you guys stay with um, your own fitness journey, it's good, and you're sharing that with others, it is going to just developing and rocking out. So, Calissa, well done, my friend. Um, I also wanted to um, give a shout out to Jamie Callahan. I don't know if she, I don't think she's on tonight, um, but she is kind of splitting off from us. Not all from us. I, I don't like that because we are a team and we will stay a team. And she's not going anywhere. I will like pull her back to kicking and screaming. Um, but she is our group, like in our fixed group in Mar February, March, we're getting really big. We had like 200 plus people in there and it was getting really big, really fast. And we had some feedback. Angela and I were reading some of the feedback and how it was saying that, you know, if some people felt overwhelmed because um, there were so many people. And while we love all like the, talking and the feedback because I think that can really work for like a point where it gets too big and impersonal. So Jamie was, you know, Jamie's got a, a large group of people for herself that, that she brings in. So being a leader, she's like, I'll do it. I'll, I'll split off and see how this works myself. Um, so we gave her the green light. So she's doing that this month. So it's like, um, I know it's scary and exciting at the same time. So I'm excited for her. And but we still hope she checks in and lets us know how everyone's doing. It's kind of weird not to your posting. Um, and also, um, I want to give a shout out. See who else is doing really great. Um, Angela's website with all the recipes. We all say yay. Yeah, <laughs> she just planned my dinners for the whole week. Um, so if you haven't checked out her recipes, recipes they're amazing. They're awesome. Um, my husband walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So um, that's a big thing this week. So, um, and I also want to give props to, we have so many new coaches. We have like 10 new coaches, you guys, that have joined Team Spark in the past week, like 10. And that is really fun for us. I'm so excited and I'm trying to make sure I remember who everybody is. 
Um, and I'm like, is this for real? It's for real. So welcome to all of you guys who are new. And I hope you know how much um, I care and we all care about your your journey and your fitness journey as well as your goals, whether it be just for the discount or all the way up to being able to leave your job or bring your husband home or whatever it may be, because the possibilities really are endless. And so I'm just really excited to have all these new faces um, and some um, coaches that have been around a while um, sparking up their business because that can happen too. I was discount coach for 18 months. So um, never forget about anybody. So welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. And I think that's it. So um, next I'm just going to give you guys some tips some of my tips that I've kind of been reminded of in the last couple of days. And um, the reason I wanted to kind of touch on this is because we have talked a lot about um, in the Rank It Up group about um, inviting and um, reaching people and relating to people and positive self-image and stuff. I hope you guys did your affirmations today. I did mine. Um, and we've been talking a lot about that. And people come, we talk a lot about social media and how do we build our business on social media. And then I have some coaches like um, Jessica Jones and I talked today and she's not, a, she's just not a huge social media person. She will post here and there, but it's just not where she likes to build her business, which is totally fine. She has this huge calendar with names written down, people she follows up with. That works for her. Fabulous. Um, but if you want to find a way to reach outside of Facebook and reach outside of Instagram and reach outside of YouTube and reach outside of whatever social Pinterest, um, I am going to highly recommend that everybody who's on this call and everybody who um, is on Team Spark as a working coach, that you guys um, create an email list, okay? Um, even if you're brand new, you can still create it. You can use a free service like MailChimp, um, and it's free. You can just use it. And I want you guys to create, have, start creating an email list outside of the Beachbody database. And the reason for this is because um, you are creating relationships with people. And when we post on Facebook, like, we post content. But then we're like, contact me if interested, right? But then they don't know how to contact you. Does that make sense? Whereas if you have a list where they can like go there and put their email list in, then they, you can blast out a newsletter when Insanity Max comes out or when you're running a new challenge group um, or something like that. So I want all of you guys, if you don't have one yet, I have one that's on my website that's not super active, but I'm kind of trying to make it a little bit more active. Um, to make sure you have some sort of email list. It doesn't have to be paid. You can use MailChimp. It's 100% free. Okay, that's what I use, free. So create some, some, some sort of email list. And in order to get people there, you want to start thinking about um, how you can get people there, right? How are you get people to sign up? You can start with something simple like sign up for my newsletter. Fine. Um, but eventually you may want to offer something like some sort of, we call it freemium. Um, our freemium for our, like within our team, a lot of the free clean eating groups we offer, like the grill challenge coming up. Um, that's a freemium because we're giving away content for free, right? We would create these menus, we give cleaning tips. We don't want to spend like endless, endless hours on them because they're free and we're just creating a relationship and kind of getting a buzz. Sometimes we get other coaches that come in there, which is, you know, there's kind of hard to avoid that all the time, but everyone can create some sort of freemium. Um, I have my ab challenge. It's five days. It's not, I created it last year on Instagram. And um, it, it did give me a lot of um, some new contacts that way. I got some new challenges out of it uh, because people saw results in those five days simply by implementing some clean eating tips and doing the exercises that I um, told them to do. And it really was just a matter of implementing a lot of those clean nutrition tips that we do in our clean eating groups. It wasn't anything super crazy because it was free, again, and it was five days. And this is something that Shalene Johnson, if you guys follow her on um, podcast or Instagram or Facebook, she really, really like pushes this into your brain. And she's smart, you guys. And I mean, she's a little, she's very showy, but she's such a smart businesswoman. And the thing that resonated with me with the podcast I listened to her this week and why I wanted to share it with you guys was because she said her book, the um, 30 day or the push, her book push, it came out the same year as Tony Horton's book. Did you guys know Tony Horton had a book? Probably not, right? 
So Tony Horton, we all know Tony Horton. Tony Horton has been around for a long time. Right? He's been a lot. He's been around Beachbody. He's one of the original. And um, he had a book that was published and released the same year as Shalene's, same publisher as Shalene. And her book was a national um, New York bestseller for weeks and weeks and weeks. His didn't even make, like, it wasn't on the list at all. Okay, his did not do well. It wasn't the content. He's very, very smart. He knows what he's doing. He's, I mean, that's not it. It was the fact that he didn't have smart, he didn't have an email list. And she said this. She said her publishers and her managers were, were encouraging her to find some, to get a list out so that when her book was published, she could blast it out to them. And that's exactly what she did. And it paid off. So I'm not saying that everybody needs to go home tonight and figure out, oh, I'm going to write a book. No, you don't need to write a book, okay? But just think of something that you can, some sort of, like, it can be the cleaning group. It can be um, five tips to, um, Jamie could do some sort of, you know, modifications um, that you can do for um, plus size people who are trying to lose weight. Because that's something that she posts those videos on about. A lot. Um, obviously, Angela and her recipes is huge, and I, you know, or her organizational tips, like that's huge. Um, anything that you can think of that you can just give people, it doesn't have to be um, crazy um, complicated, but just to get them to join your email list outside of social media. And you may not do anything with it for a while, but it's going to give you a way to communicate with people and start building relationships with people. And so then when you post on, um, Instagram, for example, you can post, let's say it's a recipe, you can post recipe, recipe and say, hey, if you, want to, if you want more, make sure you go here and sign up. I posted the five-day app challenge today that I was revamping it. So I, haven't, I haven't finished it yet, but I posted like a teaser, and I said, hey, on Instagram, if you want to be added to this email list, leave your email address below, and I will add you. So I gave them a call to action, okay? And that's what you want to do. You want to give them a call to action. Um, and you want to give them something simple. You don't want to say on Instagram, hey, follow me on Facebook. And then they go to Facebook and say, hey, follow me on YouTube. And then they go to YouTube and say, hey, follow me on Pinterest. And they go to Pinterest and then they're clicking to a website and then they're going to, no. Are they going to do all that? No. Okay. So you just need to find a way to get their, they can give you their information and then you can reach out to them and follow up with them and find out their goals. Okay. So hopefully that gets those wheels turning a little bit. Um, and what I don't want to see is on Instagram, I don't want to see you guys post um, a teaser and say, hey, find me on Facebook, because um, they're not going to do that, you guys. They're not going to do it, okay? Um, you need to make it simple and easy so they know how to get a hold of you so you can build those relationships with them. And you guys have heard, um, this is in the Mission Rank It Up group, and I think I re reiterate this over and over and over again, but find something to connect with people outside of Beachbody um, because Beachbody becomes a natural discussion if you connect with them on another level. Um, we have a ton of moms in our team. We don't have all moms, but we have a ton of moms. And obviously, we connect with other moms. That's why we're all on a team together because we all, a lot of us, um, you guys found me through, most of my coaches found me because we're in the same like demographic with kids. Um, or you were a photographer or a photography client, or you knew me from photography, or you came from a, um, you were my fitness client in the past, or you were my friend, um, or, you know, we went to school together. There's all these things that you guys all have something that you can resonate with people. And it's, you know, we're all a little different. That's what makes us the beauty of life. And this is a relationship business, and we want to be ourselves. So finding those people that we connect with is just makes it fun and, and easy. Um, I mean, gosh, at co-op yesterday or on Friday, I stood there and talked to a mom about the 21 Day Fix for like 45 minutes because she's seen me post stuff on Facebook, and she's like, oh, you know, just keep posting. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this um, because she sees me post all that stuff, you know. So. Um, but I've connected with her on a totally, like a total other level outside of Beachbody. I don't mean I didn't. She brought it up to me. So somebody today emailed me and was like, "Hey, Mandy, I think I don't think you remember me, but I met you at a breastfeeding group." You guys, Madeline hasn't nursed in it over a year, so that just tells you like how long ago I met this lady. 
And um, she's like, I was wondering if, um, I know, I remember you had a fitness studio in Carmel, and she said, ask me questions about the studio. She remembered that, and it's because I can, I'm consistent with what I'm posting about. Um, so social media mistakes, don't leave them on a wild goose chase. Um, make sure you're making things personal, and make sure that when you're sharing things that you're not, I don't know how to say this, we want to keep it so people don't get confused about how we feel about um, our business. So we don't want to say, um, one post say, I love Beachbody, it's awesome, and then the next post say, I hate Beachbody. You know, and I'm not saying any of us do that, but we just want to make sure that there's this nice ebb and flow, because otherwise people are going to be like, huh? Um, and the last little tip, if you see friends that unfollow you on on social media because you're posting about health and fitness and um, working out and healthy recipes, you know, <laughs> um, it's happened to me lately, and I just got to let it go. Because if they're not going to support me and what is important to me and what I'm passionate about, then they're not really my friends. Um, and that's just the way that it is. So don't worry about what they think, you guys. Um, I know I saw in some of those affirmations that you guys are so scared about what people think about you living a healthy lifestyle. And if they really have bad things to say about it, then I think that reflects about something that is going on with them and has nothing to do with you. So um, just keep that in mind because you guys are all awesome and you have so much to offer people and so many people to help. And I'm going to close with um, we are never going to run out of people, you guys. It's sad but true. Um, I was at the zoo this weekend and, I mean, I my eyes were just wide open at how many um, kids were, were, like, were eating all this horrible food and um, you know, obviously struggling with weight issues. And it just makes me so, I mean, I would never say anything to them, obviously, but it makes me so sad because I know we can help them. And we not all of us need to have a nutrition degree or a PhD in fitness and exercise science because we have something so real and raw to share with others. And that's our story, our experiences, um, something that people can do from home um, in 30 minutes a day and with real fit nutrition, like healthy nutrition tips. I mean, it's this is real life, you know, and I tell people, I told somebody today in the studio, I said, you know, when I was really overweight, that there wasn't Beachbody, there was Weight Watchers. And I bought frozen meals and granola bars. I didn't know. I mean, that's what was there. Did I lose weight? I did. Um, but did I look like I do now? I didn't. And did I feel the way I do now? I didn't. And could I run as fast as I do now? I couldn't. And I did, I mean, it started me on my journey, so I don't, I don't regret it, but I've learned so much and I don't have a PhD in fitness and exercise science. So I know a lot that I can use to help people. Um, and just remember that we don't, we're not going to run out of people. There's so many. And there's so much misinformation out there, and there's so many people begging for help, and we just have to find a way to connect with them on a personal level and maybe outside of um, social media, too, so that we can have more personal conversations. So um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, before I hang up tonight, um, the team dinner on the I, – I did not realize till today, Jacqueline – texted me and said, hey, did you realize May 23rd is Memorial Day weekend? I did not realize that. So um, if that's a problem for you guys, if you can please, please, I, I really do want us all to get together for dinner um, because I think it'd be really fun for us all to connect that are, that are local um, and have a glass of wine and, and just and dinner and chat. Um, so if you guys can get on the event and let me know if you prefer me to pick a different date, I will. Um, I just really want us to get together soon. So if we could do that, and then Jackie and I even talked about doing some team sports, like play dates during the summer with those of us that have kids home and who work from home because that would be fun too. Um, so I'll work on that. And next groups, the next challenge groups are going to start the 25th of May. So we should have that information out so we can start promoting them as soon as possible. And the grilling challenge will be the week before that. So we have plenty of stuff coming up to talk about, um, and I think that's it. Does anybody have anything that they need to bring up?
if you can talk. And hopefully I didn't just talk and record for nothing. Anyone? No? All right. I'm going to sign off then and say good night um, because I kept it short and sweet as promised. So, night, you guys.